Silent film star Belle Bennett got her start in show business as a trapeze artist in the circus. Now, her father, Billy Bennett, owned that circus, so she became a trapeze artist. Now, she quit the circus and went to a convent, but the showbiz bug had bit her. So she went off and did summer stock, and then she ended up on Broadway. She even worked with the famous Broadway producer, David Belasco. And in 1913, she got in her first silent motion picture. She did a few pictures out east, but then she moved to Hollywood in the 20s. In 1925, in a lineup of 73 gals, Samuel Goldwyn chose her for the lead in the picture, Stella Dallas. But a minor scandal hit while she was filming Stella Dallas. Her 16-year-old son passed away during the filming of this. Not so strange, except for the fact that she was passing him off as her brother because she looked so young. Turned out she was not 24, and Hollywood found out that she was 34. Even back in the day, in the 20s, she was too old. From then on, she was typecast in the mother roles. Her next big picture was Mother McCree. She played that title role, um, and it was directed by John Ford. She was also in other films such as The Iron Mask, where she played the Queen Mum, with Douglas Fairbanks starring, and her last picture was in 1931. It was called The Big Shot. Strangely after that, she left movies and started doing vaudeville. She uh, passed out on stage, and it turned out she'd been battling cancer for years, and she died shortly thereafter at the tender age of 41. This is Todd Pickering for Walk of Fame Wednesdays. I will see you next week in Hollywood.